guys, it's Sunday morning, and I uh, just want to say thanks to everybody for chiming in on my question about the glass, and I think my decision is going to be to replace the glass and to keep my existing glass as a backup, I guess. Um, I found a source for the glass out of California that can get, uh, first get it. <laughs> And then uh, second, it sounds like he can get it to me in a reasonable amount of time. Um, the big supplier that I usually use, which is Carmen Gia Parts and Restoration, is temporarily out of, out of stock with it, which kind of surprises me. I would think that'd be a common item. Um, and then some of the other suppliers, the local suppliers, can get a hold of a green tinted glass, and I just don't want that. I want the clear uh, just like it's supposed to have, but I have here in my hot little hands my uh, seal, uh, and I said this cost more than the glass, I was wrong. Uh, this is about a hundred dollar seal. It's the German version that has molded corners. The other versions, it's just one big long extrusion and it doesn't like keep its shape. I don't know if you guys can see how that corner sort of keeps its shape. Uh, I guess it makes a big deal on the fit. But these things take a little chrome strip in here, um, and I'm going to put this seal onto my windshield, and then I'm going to work on my chrome strip because I know my chrome stuff is kind of bent, and that's going to take me a while. So I'm going to try and get that all worked out today so that when the glass does arrive, I'm just ready to go, ready to pop it in. So, anyway, thanks again, guys. I, I do, when I ask those questions, I don't have the answer in my mind. I have what I want to do, but I really do value your opinion. And what I wanted to do was put that glass in. I think everybody knows that. Um, but doing the right thing here, uh, spending a couple hundred bucks on another piece of glass, I think it's going to, it'll probably wind up somewhere around 250 or $300 by the time it's all said and done. Uh, just for the glass and uh, which doesn't seem like a lot but it is you know I'm looking at buying some heads well there's one head right there uh, for a part that I already have that's probably serviceable but may not be perfect so it's just kind of <laughs> got to balance the budget guys so anyway we're gonna work on that it took me about an hour to get to this point a um, couple little things I learned first off uh, get yourself set up like this it's a bunch of foam and actually I did this with the windshield flipped the other way put it on from the front and uh, what I did is my arms are long enough I could stand down here and uh, I put this end on first and I tried to do it I took some of my Dawn there and put it all along the edge both sides of the whole window and then I started doing it and the thing was sliding all over and this thing wouldn't stay in place so then I took and washed all of that off, cleaned the glass completely, dried it off, and there was just a little bit of residue inside the channel on the actual rubber, and that helped tremendously. So just, I mean, you could almost take this rubber and wash it down with soap and water and just don't thoroughly dry it, just do like that. So I got this end on first, and then I just sat down here and pulled and uh, work both edges at the same time so it kind of takes some dexterity and coordination because I didn't have any help and then when I got down here uh, I held this side started around one corner and then did this corner I mean I had to do it five or six times then I used this little guy golf tee and uh, there's one little spot in here where the thing was all wrinkled up and stuff but I had enough pressure on it so I just took the golf tee and ran it under there and it kind of popped everything out so everything looks like it fits pretty nice and uh, I may be changing my mind on using this windshield, not because I want to. I can't uh, find anyone with clear glass. Everybody has this green glass. I don't want green glass. And apparently everybody's sold out of the clear. So anyway, <sighs> I may wind up putting this in anyway. don't really want to, but it may happen. So I'm waiting on another phone call back. We'll see what they say. When I took these trims out, I was not very careful. These are old aluminum trims, and uh, I bent them to absolute shit. So I spent a little time straightening this one out and cleaning it up with a little steel wool. And I just want to fit it to the car. Uh, from what I understand, 
the more this, the better this fits the contour of this opening, uh, the more it's going to push the seal into place. So I'm looking for kind of like high spots and low spots, and I'll try and bring you guys over when I get done fitting it up. So. Here's how it sits. I'm just going to put a little pressure on it just to hold it in place, but I'm not going to push any of the stuff out. So it's pretty tight all the way around. There's a little gap right there where my finger is, but up here it's fitting pretty good. Now again, it's going to have a little rubber in there, a little spring, a little this and that, but I want it to fit as good as possible here, especially in the corners. So I think we're going to get away with this one right here. Uh, I think that looks good. The other side looked about that good. Snapped right into the seal. This guy up. Okay, so there it is. I'll take you guys off there. Uh, there's just a little gap here and a little larger gap there, but somebody said quarter inch is normal. And uh, these fit really, it looks like it fits really well in the corners. And of course, you know, this stuff will straighten out when you put it in the car. So again, I'm waiting on a phone call about clear glass. If the clear glass is not available, we're going to just pop this sucker in the car. We'll see. I'm going to probably wait uh, wait a little bit longer. We'll let this glass sit around a day or two. Who knows? And uh, we'll see what we find out. But if, it's, uh, if no clear glass is available, this one's ready to pop into the car. Got a little makeup wire here from Radio Shack. It's just copper wire. It works better than threaded or braided stuff simply because you can push it in like this and it has some, I don't know, strength to it. So you have to get this all the way back into the seal, all the way to the back of that channel. I've got my little golf tee and come in there and make sure that's where it's sitting. It's all good so far. Uh, I had to do a little soul searching and here's what I came up with these trims here I think you guys can see that where I'm pointing those trims are not in the greatest of shape I need to replace them and uh, I can't get a hold of the glass so we're talking a fairly decent expense for both the trims and the glass uh, I don't know when they're going to get more clear glass so uh, rather than sit around and wait for forever. Oh, there goes my wire. Uh, I'm going to install this one and I can uninstall it when the good stuff becomes available and I got money. So, for now, you know, I don't want to miss this summer, period. I want this car. <laughs> On these old B dubs, these have to be black. Just in case something shows through. Before I install everything, I've got my vent covers here using a little bulldog adhesion promoter this stuff is not cheap it's about 18 bucks a can at O'Reilly's I'm sure you probably get it cheaper somewhere else but when you're last minute Larry that's what you get and we're using a little black satin 
trim from Marhide, which is actually Bondo, I believe. Yep, yeah, mm hmm. Bondo, Marhide. Uh, so, I'm giving these a couple quick coats of that, and uh, hopefully that'll freshen up the look right there at the front of the car.